the murky world of the Taliban command structure, it was never going to be easy to figure out who to talk to. But it's still a huge embarrassment that one man, apparently given safe passage by NATO to travel to and from negotiations, was an imposter. Reports today point the finger at Britain's Secret Service. The Times newspaper says MI6 agents were convinced the so-called Mullah Mansour was the Taliban's second in command and paid him up to half a million dollars to encourage further talks. Back in October at a meeting in London, General David Petraeus first hinted that preliminary discussions with the Taliban were underway. But this week, he said, the U.S. had had doubts from the start. There was skepticism uh, about one of these all along, and it may well be that that skepticism was well-founded. In Kabul, a senior official accused the British of being naive and said the Afghans, too, were guilty of wishful thinking that genuine talks were underway. As for beleaguered U.S. and NATO troops, they're now hunting for the elusive Mullah Mansour, who has now vanished, presumably along with the money. This is going throughout every single village in Afghanistan that the Taliban have been able to confuse and dupe the Americans. No matter who's to blame, one Afghan insider told CBS News this is more than a mistake. It's a failure that exposes the fact that even after nine years, U.S. and NATO intelligence still don't know who the top Taliban power brokers really are. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.